So, Platinum Marksman Rifles. Let's get straight to the point. The Marksman Rifles we got are the EBR, SPR, Lockwood MK2, LMS, SAB50, and the TAC M. So, the Platinum Challenge. You have to get 25 long shots with each Marksman Rifle. Some good long shot spots are the mid wall in Shoot House. This one is by far the best and the most easy one. There's gonna be always someone on the other side of this wall or close to that wall. Anything around this range right here is a guaranteed long shot. But if you don't want to play Shoot House, here's some spots where I got my long shots done before Shoot House went live. Embassy was the best map for long shots. You just go right here, you mount, and any kill within this range right here will count as a long shot. Same thing if you spawn in the opposite side. You go right here, you mount, and there's always gonna be people crossing this area right here, or other players also mounted right here trying to get the long shots done. You just kill them, and it will count as a long shot. You can mount it right here, right here, basically anything around this wall right here. If you go here, it's not gonna count as a long shot, just by the way. Another good spot in Embassy is right here. Players are gonna spawn on this area, and if you kill them, that's gonna count as a long shot. But it's not as good as the first two spots in this map. Now, Hotel really only has one good spot for long shots, and it's right here. You get up here, crouch, and you can mount. If you kill players going inside this area, that's a long shot. That's a long shot. If anyone peeks you behind this cover right here, that's a long shot. The market map is also a really good map for long shots. If you go on top of the RB, you go right here, and you kill anyone behind this wall or behind the car, that's a long shot. Same thing if you're in the opposite side. If you go up here, you can mount. You kill anyone on top of the RV, that's a long shot. Or anyone behind this wall, that's a long shot. I would personally avoid the Fortress map, Farm 18, the Border map, and Hydroelectric because they're really not good for long shots at all. Again, if you want to guarantee long shots, go to Shoot House. But if you don't want to, I'm just saying there are other options. Embassy is probably the best one. But before you get the Platinum Challenge, you first need to unlock Gold Camo on all of the marks and rifles. So in order to do that, I recommend starting with the worst ones first before the good rifles. Starting with the LMS. Camos are simple. You need 40 kills. 20 kills well mounted, 20 one shot kills, 30 crouch kills, and yeah, that's it. Now that Shoot House playlist is live, you'll have an easier time getting these done. The thing you need to know about the LMS is that it is a two shot gun, but its recoil can get a little bit wonky. So for the 40 kills, you'll just need to play the game. It's nothing hard. 20 kills well mounted is easy. Just you go in Shoot House and stand in the middle wall and just pretty much be annoying as hell. For 20 one shot kills, you need headshots. This gun is a one shot if you hit a headshot. I mean, obviously. And a two shot from the neck down. For 30 crouch kills, this is the most annoying challenge of them all. You just need to go around the map crouch. It's annoying, but skill-based matchmaking will start to work in your favor. Because while you're doing this challenge, you will get shit on a lot. Since everyone around you can run and jump and shoot you with their gold 74U. So once you get this challenge done, SBMM will go, you know what? Let's go easy on him now. And the next lobby you get will be the lobby. 40 year old dads playing on their 60 inch TV on their PS5 with the loud ass fan laying on a couch with beer stains on it. Type of lobby. It's beautiful. And we'll make the gold challenge really easy, which is you need to get three kills without dying 10 times. The next gun is the Lockwood MK2 and its challenges are 50 kills, 15 kills from behind, 25 one shot kills, and 10 point blank kills. The MK2 has a fast ADS, fast mobility, but you'll feel like it's a hit marker machine if you don't shoot from the neck up. Its damage range, it's kind of weak as well, but the fire rate is pretty fast. So if you get a hit marker the first time, just shoot again. I mean, <laughs> I know it sounds dumb because it is. For 50 kills from behind, it's pretty easy. Just shoot them in the back, but make sure they're headshots. Otherwise, they'll have enough time to turn around and if you kill them then it won't count 25 one shot kills they have to be headshots or neck shot in order to get a one shot kill and finally 10 point blank kills just get as close to them as possible maybe pop dead silence and flank them or shoot when you ran into them but don't be surprised if you still get a hit marker at that range still gotta aim from the neck up and for gold is again three kills without dying 10 times not hot at all but if you're struggling try this class which is the one that i've had more more success with. So if it worked for me, it'll definitely work for you. The next gun is the TAC M. Its challenges are 50 kills, 20 kills while mounted, 5 hip fire kills, and 10 double kills. Now, when you use this gun for the first time, you'll think to yourself, what the f is this gun? My thing is the worst gun in the game. Has a slow fire rate and its recoil is kind of weird. But once you unlock a sight for it, it's pretty fucking good. I was actually surprised at how good it was. Personally, I'd say to use this gun in any other map but Shoot House for most of the challenges at least since it doesn't perform that well 
on shoot house and because everyone is going to be running around with an smg or a 74u it's best to do quick play for it just saying it's a two shot kill so you get 50 kills in no time 20 kills were mounted again do shoot house go to the mid wall it's pretty good for that one for five hit fire kills i would say maybe also do shoot house it's only five you'll get it done in one game even if you go five and 60 you still got them done and for 10 double kills i do not recommend shoot house play hard point on quick play only since this will make players stack the point or run it together more often so you'll get an easy double kill that way and finally three kills without dying 10 times again i recommend you do it on hard point quick play especially if you don't feel that confident with this gun take your time in getting one kill at a time shoot house is not good for this one so go and do quick play the next gun is the ebr you need 50 kills 30 kills while crouched 20 kills while mounted and 10 double kills shoot house is the perfect map for this gun it's a two shot kill but the fire rate is a lot faster so 50 kills will go quick 30 kills while crouched will be slowish but on shoot house it'll be a little bit faster since it's a lot of a close quarters map so do that 40 kills while mounted again shoot house mid wall mount shoot done 10 double kills you can do these while you're doing the mounted kills most of the time there's more than one player on the other side of the wall or they will be running mid a lot so it's pretty quick and finally three kills without 10 times shoot house might be good for this one actually I, I mean i don't know i'd say do quick play since it's what worked for me but i don't know try it out and here's the class that worked for me the most so use it if you want the next two guns are pretty much the same gun they are the spr and the sab i personally think that the sab is better but that's just me maybe i don't know first challenge for both is get 50 kills the second one is different for both the spr is 50 ads kills and the sab is 25 one shot kills Third one is 30 kills while prone for the SPR. And for the SAB is 10 double kills. And the last one is mounted kills. 20 for the SPR and 10 for the SAB. These two marks and rifles have been terrorizing multiplayer for weeks. And even after the nerf, they're still insane. So getting 50 kills with both of them, it's, it's gonna be pretty easy. 50 ADS kills with the SPR. Again, you're gonna get it done once you fully level it up. And same thing goes for the SAB, the 25 one-shot kills. The SAB is strong as so, I mean, if you shoot them from the chest up, it's still gonna be a one shot. 30 kills while prone on the SPR. It's easy, but it's really annoying. Just go prone and get some kills. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. People will definitely hate you for it, but you gotta get them done, so... Now, 10 double kills for the SAB. Again, shoot house. It's perfect for this one. So build an aggro build for the SAB and Q into shoot house. And finally, you need mounted kills for both of them. Again, just go in shoot house, mid wall, and you'll get them done quick. And for the gold challenge for both of them is three kills without dying. 10 times shoot house shoot house shoot house use this build for the sab which worked for me the most and this one for the spr and you'll get these done pretty quick once you complete all the gold camos for these marks and rifles you'll unlock the platinum challenge which again is get 25 long shots for each gun once you get them all done you have six platinum weapons done and you're on your way for polyatomic camo and orion and that's it i hope this helped if you liked the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace